Hello everybody, I know it's been a minute, but today we're going to be um, talking about why I have a hard no on yay in 24. So there's a few reasons I'm going to outline here and why I think that anyone who is taking this seriously is basically just shooting the right in the foot. So I want to preface this whole thing by saying my still preferred candidate in 24 is Donald Trump. However, if someone better were to arise, I don't think he would be better, but theoretically speaking, um, like Ron DeSantis actually somehow provides a better concrete option, of course, I would pivot to that. However, this is – my view is right now is that Donald Trump is our best chance. I am not necessarily loyal to a man as I am ideals, and so far it seems he's still our best bet. So – one of the main reasons out of the four I have on here on why Kanye or Ye is not exactly great for 24, in fact, it's kind of a disaster, is overall the guy is just a schizo. And if you look at his behavior and the rants he's gone on, no matter how base they may be, at the end of the day, the guy is completely nuts. And I think that one's quite evident. I don't think I need to uh, debate anybody on that. The dude, at the end of the day, is nuts. He has no consistency on his views. Now, yes, people change over time, but a lot of the stuff he says is kind of just blurted out, which, sure, it's fine for, like, an average person. But when someone's running for president, they should probably be consistent on how they view things. And he has damn near never, if ever, been consistent on his views. And I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually change. Who knows? Essentially, at the end of the day, Kanye is nothing more than a complete crazy person who stumbled on the truth about a couple of things. Specifically, uh, one thing the right is really liking about him is the uh, the JQ. Now, sure, technically speaking, he he's probably going a little overboard and definitely being on on optical about it, no doubt. But yeah, he, he definitely told the truth about that quite a bit. But just because he stumbled on the truth doesn't change the fact that overall he's completely crazy and probably would not ever be good in any sort of power dictating however the people's lives will be run. Um, another thing is, and some people may not care about this, some people will on the right especially, so I'm going to discuss this, is he has a questionable sexuality. Now, I'm not saying he is or isn't anything. He seems straight, however... I'm sure we all are aware of what happened last year when he, or maybe it was two years ago now. I think it was 21. He basically had a mental breakdown and apparently hooked up with a man that could have been disproven. I don't know, but the point is, is it's questionable, and with some of his past behaviors, you don't know. And that's overall, he's just a complete degenerate. Maybe not anymore. I'm glad he isn't. If he isn't, that's a good thing. However, his past is still his past. And the way I always view past, whether it be about anything, it be sexual history of a person, how they just, their character in general is, yes, people can change, but that's, a lot of that change is usually not always as genuine as a lot of people want to think about anything. And even if someone does genuinely change, it doesn't negate their past at all. It really does not. A lot of people would like it too, especially if they have a bad past and they did change, but that is not negated. And if you look through Kanye's past from, I'd say, at least since he's been famous, probably before that, and since 2018, or up until 2018, maybe even after 2018, some aspects, the guy was a complete degenerate. I don't think that's even arguable. Now, the next main topic I want to talk about is his associates with this campaign he is currently running, quote-unquote. Um, the first one is... The beloved Nick Fuentes, who frankly should never be anywhere near a position of power for ever. I mean, you saw exactly how he ran his own movement to the ground, how he flip-flopped on so many issues. And I've covered that specifically on the Russia one, but on a lot of things. The the overall unhingedness of him, he should never be anywhere near anything power, even in a kind of city or township level, let alone county, state, or even federal. That I... As much as you know, the Grapers would probably love the shit on me for saying that, that is not someone that needs to be near power whatsoever. The next one would be Milo Yiannopoulos, which, I mean, he's a homosexual, as it is. Um, now, of course, they say he's reformed. 
you can take that with a grain of salt. I necessarily don't believe in that. I don't believe you can choose to be a homosexual, but I also don't believe you can just turn it off at will either. Um, I guess some people would make an argument he literally went through electrotherapy. That shows dedication, sure, but nonetheless, we are all aware of his sexual taste. That's kind of out in the open. It's been in the open for a long time. And he just has a history of this kind of stuff, as well as kind of flip-flopping. I wouldn't say majorly, but there's some things, you know, he said one thing years ago, he kind of reverted, then he came back. It's just a, another person, again, who really shouldn't probably be in charge of anything important, to say the least, just because he's not stable in any aspect. And again, I mean, how, how genuine is he? Even if he's not committing such acts anymore, he probably still is a homosexual, which I'm not going to say is necessarily wrong. I'm not going to say it's right either. I'm not going to give my opinion on that. But since people on the right tend to care about such a thing, I, I want to make sure I hammer that point home pretty well. Now, the next thing is the following type that's going to arise from Kanye's quote-unquote base. Um, they're not exactly going to be very right-wing people at all. Um... A lot of them are going to be the quote-unquote reformed Christians who, uh, I mean, any person who isn't a reformed Christian on the right despises them whether they're Christian or not because they're just, at the end of the day, like, I, I, don't, I don't think I have to say much. Most people know what I'm talking about when it comes to reformed quote-unquote people. So you have that. You're going to have a lot of people who are just basically liberals in every aspect, but they like yay, so they're going to vote for yay. Um, you're going to see a lot of that, actually. I, I can probably put money on that one. I'm not going to put a lot on it, but I, I would take a bet on that. Um, you're going to just have overall people who are not right-wing. They're not conservative. They, even if they're Christians, they're going to be overall liberal people. And this is going to shift the Overton window within our party left, therefore the country even further left, as the right-wing opposition will cease to be even more right-wing, as it's already been doing for decades which is just not a good thing. I think that's obvious. And overall, these people, all, all the ones I've mentioned here in this associates category, are just severely prone to degenerate behavior. And I think that is a overall stain on the right that we are trying to get rid of. And it would be counterproductive to have that be our representation in office. Now, some would counter that and say, oh, Trump did this. Listen, I, I don't really care about Trump as a person. Like I said, I'm loyal to ideals. And there's a lot of things I didn't really agree with Trump on. I thought he was too liberal on. But at the end of the day, he was the best we had. And as of right now, he still seems to be the best that is running for president, at least. Um, now, on to the next topic is nothing with him, me and Kanye, is concrete in the slightest. Um, and I would like to be, what has he genuinely contributed to the right? Now, you can say, oh, he brought Christianity back in, in the mainstream. Sure, but are, are these people Christians in all reality? They go to church, but do these people live off a Christian ideal? Are they not whoremongers? Are they not drug users? Are they not just overall completely degenerate? Are they not liberals? I mean, the, the people, yay, attracted to Christianity did a good thing for Christianity, but it also at the same time attracted people who by no means, even to this day, live a Christian lifestyle. It's like the people, and most Zoomers would be familiar with this, you went to high school with that always wore a cross on their neck, but they were promiscuous as fuck they were having sex all the time they were doing drugs all the time it's it's false flagging to the highest degree and i personally find that behavior despicable another issue is that he'll be splitting the vote and making it more likely for a democratic win in a general election and i think that goes without saying because like likely if he'll lose the primary and if he does and he decides to still run third party in the general you're going to have a lot of Zoomers that are going to vote for him, and that it could also harm the Dems, but let's be honest here. Whenever like, there's more than one part to the, you know, another party outside of the Dems, it almost always reflects upon the Republicans worse, and I think that should be assumed right then and there. That's what's going to happen. And this one's a big one for me specifically because I talk about this a lot, and it's foreign policy. He has no comprehension of geopolitics, and he would completely fuck us over on foreign policy. I think that one's evident as of what we saw either it was last night or two nights ago. I'm sure it was last night from recording um, when he was on InfoWars, and Nick was basically filleting Putin 
as usual. And he had Alex Jones kind of agreeing with him as usual. And Ye was sitting there just asking questions. Like, he, he didn't understand anything about this. And it's just, this is your, your guy you want to be in president who can't even comprehend basic foreign policy. That's that's not good. You can say what you want, but at the end of the day, Trump was a strong man on, on foreign policy, and it helped us a lot. We won't have that with Kanye, no matter what. And overall, Kanye is still going to be a lot more liberal than Trump. In a lot of ways, it would be terrible. Sure, he might preach Christianity more, but the country will become more liberalized with a Kanye presidency. I, I'll, I will cut my finger off if somehow the country becomes more conservative if Kanye gets elected. Now, I want to top this all off. There are a few positives of him in this race at the moment, though. One, when it comes to the – this is all in the primaries, I should say. One is that Trump is going to have to appeal to a more right-wing base and a more Christian base now to kind of siphon those votes away from Kanye, which would be a good thing. It would make Trump have to stick to his – to that core a bit more. Now, would that follow the policy? I don't know. I hope it does. It's a, it's a gamble, but regardless, he will have to appeal to those people more. Which would be good, because at the end of the day, we need Christianity to be preached from the high end of the office. Um, another thing is the debates, at least in theory, will be entertaining. <laughs> uh, th yeah, yay Trump and DeSantis on the same debate stage would be that'd be a shit show. It would make the 2015-16 primaries look like a, a kindergarten TV show or something along those lines. Um, and I guess the last thing is it's it, it kind of ties into the um, the last one or the previous one before that, which is that it's going to help boost Christianity in today's America regardless, because the Republicans are going to have to appeal to that more as a result of him already kind of appealing to that. And yes, I think that's a good thing. Um, there's a couple of things I I just want to spitball on here too is. I guess if you're one of these people that cares about it and he somehow did run, run and he won, which I still doubt he would win if he ran as, as a general, even as a Republican. Um, yes, it would boost black vote for him, definitely, and for the Republican Party. But at what cost? They're still going to lose. They're not going to be voting for policy. They're going to vote for Kanye because he's black, let's be honest. That's exactly what happened with Obama years ago. So there's no use in deluding yourself about that one. But yes, it would technically be true. Um, and to finish it off, I want to run back to the Milo Yiannopoulos thing as well as Kanye's questionable sexuality. And that's simply put is over the last week, I'd say it was maybe just about a week ago, maybe under, um, there was a bit of a thing going on where Ye was tweeting some really weird things and they're saying this isn't confirmed. Um, but it was it was Milo and Nick tweeting from his account. I don't care about any of that. But a lot of people brought up that Milo Yiannopoulos seems to be somewhat fascinated by Kanye's sexuality, which I don't really care about if he's a homosexual or not at this point. I don't really care at all because it's irrelevant to me in that sense. However, it's just another layer on top of this shit sandwich that I'm having to add is – is this the kind of drama you want going on with your president who is pretty lackluster in knowledge about anything else that I've already discussed, such as foreign policy and probably even domestic policy? And then you're, you're going to have like that running around as, as, as his top campaign managers. That's not a good look, and not even as a good look. It's just going to be bad in general. The results will be poor. And on the, all, for all these reasons I've listed – this is why I am personally a hard no on Ye in 24. With all that said, there still are some benefits as I discussed as well. After all this, I would like to say thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's been a while and I haven't been too consistent. I'm trying, but it's kind of – I'm kind of running out of things to talk about at this point. Um, once the primaries really start to kick off probably after the first of the year, I can assume I will have more content to make. And I thank you guys for your support. I hope this video was up to standard. I know I'm kind of rusty. It's been about a month. If you did like this video, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.